Hey, hi everyone. I hope you all are doing good. My name is Ricky and I'm from India. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do color separation for this artwork for a black uh, to be printed on a black t-shirt. And we're going to use a simulated process. So stay tuned and let's get started. We're gonna be doing this uh, design uh, as a very simple screen uh, color separation. We're going to do a simulated process. Uh, this is a design. So this artwork, uh, this part, you can see this part, this will go on the back side. This will be printed on the back side and this will be on the front side, right? So we need to adjust a little bit. We'll bring this a little bit above and uh, yeah maybe around here so that later on when we print uh, we can have this on the front and this one on the back so all right so sometimes you know you need to do this so that you can save some of the frames and in that way you can uh, you know print more designs right okay so first thing first we have checked the design everything you know if you want to adjust uh, the design over here you can do that by simply clicking ctrl or command m it will bring out the labels so with the labels what you can do if you see this here if you turn this if you lower this one you know it will become more darker but if you bring a little bit above like this you can see like this it brightens up right so we want the image to be a little bright brighten up so that we can um, you know print more accurately right so that is one thing and another thing is we need to see if there is any uh, you know anything else that we want to do right so what we can do is we can again click control or command U, which will bring out our hue and saturation uh, level and from here in the edit tier you can go to the red and just try to adjust the saturation over here and see whether you can brighten up a little bit more right you see if you brighten up too much you know the, the whole color changes right so you don't want that and if you lower this down the whole color will go away so let's brighten up a little bit like you know, around 8 right and same thing for the yellow again yellow we do you do you want to brighten up no i don't think we should so that is fine if we take out the lightness you see all the yellow will go away right so we don't want that as well so we'll keep it here and the rest like green there is no green so i can lighten it up so cyan yes there is cyan here we can brighten up a little bit more but we don't want that much you can see around here that a lot of other things have you know popped up so we don't want that right so i think so i think a little bit around around 12 is fine and the blue 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 yeah blue doesn't have much so we'll just keep it that way and magenta as well yeah magenta will keep it that way all right so we have sharpened the image a little bit more so everything is looking sharp and everything is looking fine so even here as well the front so this is also looking awesome it's very sharp uh, all the images so what we'll do now is we'll go to the channel right in the channel you click on this create new channel which you will find at the bottom of the screen where you can see here create new channel just click that and an alpha one will come out you double click that and you go to spot color you choose black and we'll name this as black t we'll keep the solidity here to 100 percent so this is the background of the t-shirt right so we need a background to work on the rest of the design so we go to rgb click rgb again this will automatically turn off this layer or this channel and then from rgb what you need to do is you go down here again now here you'll see load 
channel selection so you click on that what this will do is this will select all the uh, designs which is over here and we need to go and save this which is just beside the loot selection you can see this one uh, square kind of uh, you know a box here so it says save selection as channel so you click on that and again this alpha one will come so you click on alpha one now you can see this you know small little things that is there so you need to deselect this so to do that you need to click control and d so it will deselect or otherwise you can go select here on top and and you can see here deselect right so you click here and it will get deselect so right now if i turn on this black t you can see that it is in a negative form right we want to we want to have this channel as a positive so what you need to do is you can invert the image to do that you go to select and uh, okay so there is no invert you can go to select and okay if you're not able to find that the simple keyword shortcut is control or command i which will invert the um, you know the channel so right now you can see i've already uh, i've already inverted and if i turn off the black t it is in a negative form but when i turn on the black tea it's it's correctly placed right so you double click on alpha one you go to spot color you go to this color selection tool you click there and you choose white so this is going to be our white base so you can name this as white base and solidary you keep at 100 percent all right so you can see our white base is pretty well pretty sharp and everything else is coming but you can see here some shadows over here which we want to get rid of right so what you'll do is you'll click on the white base and you will press control or command L to bring out the levels right so in the level you go to the right side of this and you according to you know adjustments you bring it up a little bit unless and until it turns completely black right so we reduce the unwanted uh, you know uh, uh, the, the, the colors here so that we don't have any problems while printing otherwise if we don't do this this will come out in the printing and we don't want that right so we want this to be completely black so we will yes but make sure you don't do too much otherwise you will lose all the details like you can see over here we are starting to lose a lot of details so right so only a little bit to the point where you know this this unwanted thing over here disappears there are still a little bit more left so we can still do a little bit more okay that's perfect and you can bring this a little bit more so that it brightens up a little bit yeah that's fine okay all right so we place okay and we'll see how is the rest of the thing yes everything is fine so we are good to go with the white base later we have to adjust a little bit more but first let's go and separate the colors so you again go to rgb you click on it you go to select you go color range and go to sample colors you choose red you can see there is a lot of red over here so you can also see what are the colors that you want to print right so there is red there is yellow there is no green there is cyan and blue and magenta you can skip magenta you can we can skip the blue and we'll just focus on cyan and this will reduce our frame as well so we go to red choose the invert and press ok this will automatically select only the red part you come down here again at the bottom of the screen here you'll see the safe 
save selection as channel you press on that and again this alpha one will come you click on that and press ctrl d to deselect and you what you need to do is double click on it you go to spot color name it as red and leave the opacity to 10 press ok now again go to RGB we'll separate the yellow we'll bring out the yellow go to sample colors ok before that you go to selection again you go to color range you go to yellow we have yellow selection and press ok and you save selection as channel go to alpha 1 and control D to deselect double click go to spot color now this time you choose yellow press ok name it as yellow solidity we give 10 percent and that's okay you go to uh, RGB go to select go to color range sample colors and choose cyan right you go press ok and go save selection alpha 1 control D all right all this at this moment we again have this unwanted selection here now you can see here so we don't want this right again so we have all the details there are a lot of small details here and here as well uh, but I think that is fine what we can do is later on after we do the separation we can entirely delete this because we have some you know some details going on around here as well which we need it right so you double click spot color and choose this you know any blue for the time being and we'll name this as blue and again solidary at 10 percent all right so we'll turn on black t-shirt and we'll turn on white base we'll turn on red We'll turn on yellow and blue that's perfect <clears throat> so right now you can see there are some little bit of more adjustment needs to be done especially on this um, the red yellow and as well as the blue so you click on you click on the red and control M to increase the opacity or the shadings a little bit more all right so I think that is fine and you go to yellow again you control M to bring out the lab, uh, bring out uh, the levels and then okay yellow is fine and blue as well control M which will bring out the curve not label sorry and then I think that is good to go now on the red you go control L to bring the levels now and decrease this side a little bit so you know we might have small little details unwanted details which we don't want and increase this as well this yellow control L and again from this side as well and bring a little bit this side and finally the blue control L and we'll bring this a little bit here and like this right so right now our color separation is done so this is almost like 70 percent uh, of what the original picture looks like which is fine because uh, later on when we do the half tones the colors will appear exactly as this color right so the white one maybe we can trim down a little bit control press control m and to bring out the curve and yes I think this looks much better again you press ctrl L so that if there is any unwanted things we want to reduce we can reduce a little bit here as well okay that's fine all right so our separation is done so what we need to do now is ctrl A which will select all the all the all the selection in all the channels for our white base and we will press ctrl C to copy to copy this and we'll press ctrl N for a new uh, uh, new page right a new a new layer or a new totally layer you can say this will and then you press ok 
and you control V to pass to, to paste 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 yeah over here so you can see now our this is our uh, you know our what do you call uh, the white base right so this is our white so right now we need to do a half tone effects you know you go to image you go to mode you go to bitmap and flatten layers you keep the output to 300 pixels per inch and choose the method to half tone screen and press okay now here frequency okay so there are a lot of things to know about frequency and angle and shape you know uh, so all this depends on you know trials and errors uh, you know uh, and there you can do so many things over here to make you know the dot size bigger by you know uh, by lowering the frequency you can change the angle uh, to have more shading uh, different kinds of shading effects by changing the colors right so this is really there is no fixed uh, uh, method to do this this is all about trials and errors you can check it out you can do it out and uh, that but for now you know since we have been doing we, are, we have been doing this all for a long long time so we know exactly what kind of frequency we want we find and uh, for this design and we want what kind of angles we need to set to so currently we want the frequency to 50 and angle at 45 which will give us uh, you know which will give us uh, 50 lpi right so all right so we'll press ok all right so we already have converted this to a half tone to confirm we can check all this dot size uh, you know so this is the half tone effect that we have created right so that is done and it's done awesome double click on it okay go to image and now in order to you know do any changes right now it's in a bitmap of mode so in order to change anything or you want to copy this or you want to remove the background to check you know all the colors are coming fine you need to change it to grayscale press ok and go to rgb color right this is already changed so we'll double click on this we'll name this as white base then we go to okay so this this next method uh, it is not required but usually I do sometimes because I want to check all the colors are you know uh, it's all coming all okay and if there is anything that I need to change right so what you need to do for that is go to selection and bring out the color range click on the white which will choose the white background and uh, untick the invert button and you press ok so this will select only the white part press all the things will remain and you delete it all right so this will bring us uh, without the background and you go to you know a create new layer and you give the t-shirt background as black fill with the bucket you bring it down we'll name this as t-shirt and on this white you just color overlay double click it cover color overlay to white Okay, so right now so this is white so everything is coming out nice and shine uh, once we hit the two codes everything this will also appear all right so that's done with the white base now we have to do the rest of the colors as well so we'll minimize this we'll double click and we'll bring our master uh, separation again we go to channels you bring the red now so we'll choose Control A to select. It's already selected. To Control C to copy and Control N to bring out to a new layer and press Enter and copy. Control V to copy. Right. So this is the red. So we go again, do the same thing all again. Go to Image Mode with Map Flatten 300 Half Tone. Okay, Frequency 50 by 45 all right go to image again go to mode grayscale okay image mode 
and RGB. We'll control A to select everything, control C to copy. Now this time you don't have to do control N, okay? Because we are going to bring this layer over here. So close this down. Now you select this layer, go to the layers, and on top of Y, you just control V. Okay, don't pull, okay? Uh, don't, don't pull this thing with your cursor. Just bring it, just copy and paste so that all the things are aligned together. So again, we'll remove this background, go to select, color range, select the white, press OK, and delete it. Control D to deselect. Now we go here and color overlay to red. So you can see our red is coming out nice. Name this as red. Now we'll bring the yellow. Control A to select all, Control C to copy, and Control N to bring it to the new layer. Press Enter and Control V. So this is the yellow. We go to Image, Mode, Bitmap, Flatten Layers, OK. 300 Output, Half Tone Screen, OK. Frequency 50, Lines per Inch, 45 Angle. We choose the shape, Ellipse, OK. Go to Image, Mode, Grayscale, OK. Image, Mode, and RGB. We go and select this, Control A, Control C to copy it and close it down. Bring it over here, go to layers, on top of red, you control V to paste and go to selection, go colorings, select the background, press OK. Now we'll delete the background, control D to deselect, color overlay to yellow, right? So we can choose the yellow to be a little bit of golden yellow. Yes, this is better. Okay. And we'll name this as golden yellow. All right, so we go to the last screen. We go to channels and we bring out the blue. Control A, Control C, Control N, Enter, and Control V to paste. All right, so we go to image mode with map. OK, 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 gray, OK mode RGB right so we press Control A Control C and we close this up go to here and we'll press Control V all right so if you see here like I said we don't want this so we're gonna delete later okay so right now we go and select color range delete the background first okay we'll delete this background Control D and we're gonna close this and we're gonna have to blue over here for the time being all right so we have this you can see here so we don't want this so we just select this okay and delete it awesome okay rest are okay all right, so we'll turn on the rest. Voila, so you have there already. So now we can cross check with the original file. You can see everything is turning out awesome. We can change a little bit on the color. You go to blue color overlay and bring it somewhere around here. Yeah, yeah, I think this, yeah. yes, this blue is fine. So remember this blue when you when later when you uh, uh, you know mix the color you gotta mix this color uh, well you know on accurately like this you can go to web colors and uh, you can also you know or go to color libraries you can get the exact Pantone code like this over here and you can uh, Mac you can make the color exactly as this if you want right so all right. So that is done. Then the golden yellow, probably I would, you know, uh, just increase a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. So that's awesome. Okay, let's bring the red over here. If we do that, you can see that the whole thing changes, right? 
so we can Okay, so you can see now we have exactly the same. So we'll name this as blue. So now the print order. Okay, how do you print? You need to print the white base first. Okay, and then the golden yellow, and then the red, and lastly the blue. So this will be our print order. So if you again, if you just tweak and see whether if we, uh, you know, put the golden yellow after the red you can see the whole thing changes right so the effects over here will it can be achieved if we print the yellow first and then the red so you can see right now we have all the details going on right now we missed out some of the things over here you know the magenta over here uh, but but that's fine we are trying to print this on a you know um on only four frames right so we're restricting to only four frames right traditionally if i have to print this i would use six frames i'll use uh, a, a white uh, sorry a, a gray base first and then white and then golden yellow red blue and then magenta i'll use that so six frames but i don't want to you know go to six frames uh, because this is this i'm going to only print on a few t-shirt so uh, you know and the budget you know the budget is very tight so i'll be finishing off this with only four frames all right so you can go and go ahead and save this and as a master copy and this you can save it as uh, uh, you know a print copy or a film print copy right so there's one last thing before we print is uh, you know you select the blue you should have a registration mark something like this right so you go and bring this over here so you, what you need to do is control a to select control c and we'll bring it over here on top of the blue and we'll paste okay so registration mark is okay all the designs are coming fine so before we print what we need to do we need to close this down go to white paste and will deselect so this will this will be printed right so you can either color overlay to black complete black so that you know all the things are printed and you go to bring out this text tool and you name this um, frame so that you know that what color you're going to print and in what order right so what i'll do is i'll name it as w which is stands for white and i'll write one that means this is the first frame all right so this is done what i'll do now is go here file and go to print and i'll select my printer for me i'm using the canon ix 6770 6700 series whatever printer you're using you can select that go to page setup for me for my printer i have got this a3 plus size and i'm going to use a3 plus which is 13 by 19 uh, uh, size when you click on that i'll put it to grayscale printing i'll go to the mains and go to custom for print quality set it to the maximum and also on the color intensity i'll do manually and I'll put it to dark and this one to low so I have very black uh, printout on my film. So I'll press to OK. So everything is set. And then we can go ahead and print this. All right, so after we have printed our white base, same thing will happen to the rest of the colors so we'll turn this layer off and we'll turn on the golden yellow we'll color overlay to black and we're gonna name this to we're gonna name this to y2 which means uh, yellow 2 
I'm going to name this as GY because it's golden yellow, golden yellow 2. And same thing again, I'll go to file, print, I'll choose the color and I'll choose the, it's automatically chosen, so I can just hit print. All right, so after the golden yellow, now it's turned for the red. Again, same thing, you turn it to black. Okay. And you go to file, you go to print. It's already selected. I can print this. Now the final color, which is the blue, I'll change it to black. Oh, sorry, the red. You need to change it to R3 so this will be our 3 which is red and this is going to be our uh, third frame and after that the blue color overlay okay and you change this to blue 4 okay so this is just this things that I'm writing is just for our reference so you know sometimes uh, if you have if you're color separating yourself and if printing is done by someone else <clears throat> you know yeah, so they know exactly what kind of colors you can even write the color code here the Pantone code over here so that if you are a big company so your staff knows what kind of colors is going to go to so this is very important right okay so we are done with this and we can go ahead and print all right so we are done with the color separations and uh, we got what we need to have remember this part we are only going to print on the back once we finish the back we're gonna tape all this up and and we're gonna print this on the front and when while we are printing on the back we will tape this up so that this design doesn't come on the back side and uh, for, for, by doing this we are saving uh, a frame uh, you know otherwise we might have to use eight frames for this four for the back four for the front and uh, know that is quite difficult right so that's all we have finished this and uh, oh yeah there's another one more uh, thing left and uh, let me just quickly go and download this and uh, yeah and i'll bring this and this is going to be on the sleeve so what i'll do is i'll go and check the size first image image size i'll turn it on to 300 and i'm going to keep it to four all right and i'm going to adjust a little bit i'm going to right now you can see it's a little bit grayish black so i'll press ctrl m and make it pitch dark black okay so i'll deselect this and i'm going to color select and color select the black okay so i'm going to inverse and this and i'm going to cut out the background and now I'm going to bring this over to my print, which is I think it will if I just turn on this and change it to white so that I can see it better. Okay, so if I bring over here, and I think this will go over here. So later on we can print or over here. No, it doesn't go yeah over here let me see okay so what I can do now here is I don't think we need this kind of this blue over here I'll just delete this blue from over here because we don't need this this will be unnecessary attack later on so yeah so I'll just go ahead and delete this all chunk of unwanted okay so I'm gonna press delete all right so right now I'm gonna bring this over here 
again i'm trying to save you know i'm, I'm trying to save the frame so that later i can print this on my sleeve i'm going to middle this down i'm going to select the background and i'm going to middle it so this one will print will be printed on the sleeve all right so when now when we print it uh, i'll go i'll print both this on together and i'm going to print so i'm going to name this blue and this one obviously is for the sleeve so i'll know what color is going to be printed which is white all right guys so stay tuned for my next video where i'm going to burn the all the images in my exposure unit and i'm going to print a sample test and do the production thank you for watching this again i hope you all learn a little bit about how to do color separations Although this is not a very advanced level color separations, this is just a basic one. There are tons of advanced level and tricks and tips on how to do color separation manually here in Photoshop. So stay tuned for more videos in my coming uh, upcoming videos. So please do subscribe and uh, please do support this channel. Thank you and see you again.